That clock, the stopwatch bounces almost like it belongs in Beauty and the Beast. Like it's about to break into song. It wants you to be its guest, John. Let's get this on for Twitch fucking goes away forever. Welcome back to Symphony of the Night. Hashtag not all vampires. Still didn't uh, watch the anime yet. Recommended. Recommended. If you play Castlevania 3, you'll enjoy it. Is it mostly what it's based off of? 3? Yeah, that's entirely what it's based off of. Do you have a tissue box over there? This one? Okay, thank you. Did I fold? Um, I have a piece of honeycomb lodged somewhere in the back of my nose that until I get it blown out, it's going to be irritating as hell. That sounds irritating as hell. <laughs> it's a it's a feature of being a cancer survivor. That, um, Not a bug? No, I mean, working as intended. That everything in the back of my throat goes to the back of my nose. Uh, quite easily. Can you take the other box to the cardboard trash? Thank you. You wouldn't think that uh, a chunk of honeycomb can make a nosebleed, but it can. Seems very uncomfortable. It's it's highly irritating. It's not a painful thing. It's just. You know something's back. I mean, you've had to blow your nose before, and you like you felt sure. like, oh, I got a, a chunk. It's just perpetual. Like until it decides to like just kick over. Uh, so how has your uh, last um, twenty hours since we last streamed gone? Um, gone okay. I mean, nothing particularly exciting or traumatic to, to report. Yay, although unfortunate for content. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I can always drum up some content, Mike. But oh, I mean, I mean, there's always like the well that I can go to. You know, I, I can ask you like, um, oh, let's see, let me, let me come up with a good. Okay, I got one. Yeah. Um, is Ray Sinji's father's attempt to build a perfect pilot, or is Ray? An attempt to build a perfect um, daughter and or son that he doesn't have in Shinji. A um, replacement for Shinji. The answer is C. Um, the key to to uh, controlling third impact, which does not work out as intended. So, so she is the, the the father doesn't really have a a father attachment to Ray. It's more of um, he has a use for her. She has a use for her. As, as he says to Shinji uh, in the first episode, I have a use for you. Which is completely, you know, that... So in his own way, it is kind of a, um, child, um, to him as well, in that he doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah, and as <laughs> much as, as he gives a damn about, um, Shinji. You see they're, uh, making a live-action Cowboy Bebop show? I'd, I'd heard that that had finally gotten off the ground. Yeah, the no service, no channel or streaming service has has picked it up, or at least they're not announcing coming to Netflix, or it's going to be a Hulu, or it's going to be on CBS. But um, I can't find any information on casting, which kind of makes me want to doubt that it's truly happening, you know? Well, if they haven't gotten to that point yet, I understand this has been tried a couple times in the past, um, and didn't go anywhere. I also don't know that, um, 
I want a live action Cowboy Bebop? Or I want anyone to touch Cowboy Bebop in any way for any reason? Yeah. You know? It'd be like if they said there's a season two and it's taking place immediately after season one and Spike's not dead. Spoilers. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I fear of like if you haven't seen the show for twenty years, I don't know what to do for you. Yeah, it's spoiler windows on that's long gone. Um Eris dies and Atlas is your father, deal with it. Um That's the thing of like, are they going to commit to doing a show with the original plot, or are they gonna be like, no, 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 we gotta drag this out to five seasons. We gotta, we gotta have a super hit on our hands, you know. As uh, community says, six seasons in a movie. <sighs> the um, like I, I watch House of Cards, but it's very clear that they don't have. A plan at this point, you know, five seasons in or whatever they are now. Um, like the, the show is almost no politics now. Yeah. Um, where the first seasons of in the first couple of seasons of House of Cards were very much about the inside baseball politics. The only thing that carries that show is Kevin Spacey and Robin Wright. Like that's. I'm still watching for them because um, they don't care that they're shit scripts with no real plot or substance. They're bringing their A game all they'll the time. The, they'll achieve the shit out of some scenery. And I watch those two, you know? Yeah. Kevin, Especially Kevin Spacey doing the Southern uh, Politician Act. Um, kind of enjoyable. Doing the speed running. Yeah, just for moving around. That clock, that stopwatch bounces almost like it belongs in Beauty and the Beast. Like it's about to break into song. It wants you to be its guest, John. You know, I uh I did not believe when I first found out that that was Jerry Orbach from Law & Order. Lenny Briscoe. Lenny? But, yeah, it was, was like the teapot or something? It was a motherfucking candle. Candle. Oh, He okay. was the one singing the VR guest song. That was all him. Wow. How come they never uh, got Lenny doing some musical Law & Order bits? You know, I think... Um, Detective Green, who was his partner for a while on the show, also did musicals. Although, you know, actors in musicals, oh my god, some of the South Presses, but... I mean, that's kind of my... A Law & Order show could have easily happened. Orbach or, um, what's his name, Sam Watterson? Yes. That's my litmus test if I'm going to watch this Law & Order. If oh, I don't yeah. see either of those names in the credits, I prefer both. But... If I see either of their names in the credits, I won't watch this episode. If I don't... Eh, I'm sorry. Got... Got places to be and things <laughs> to do that don't include a shitty Law & Order episode. I mean, that'd be like watching a, um... SVU without iced tea. It's like, I'm not here for that. Yeah. That's not... That's not what any of us are here for, Mike. <laughs> Uh, I follow Ice-T on Twitter, and... How's that working out for oh, you? Oh, it's great! Because, as you might expect, he gives no fucks. Um, and there's always a dumbass willing to come at him on Twitter, telling him he sold out because all he plays is cops. Right? Right? So you tell a member of NWA, he sold out because he plays cops on TV. Yeah. Right? And he'll let you just exactly... How much of a fuck he doesn't give about you and what a piece of shit you are pulling out all kinds of things. And it's highly entertaining. Um. Is that your clock? Did you freeze time or is that this clock? No, that's this clock. It's a real, it, well, it's a real-ish clock. If you wait, it will do something. Yep. There it goes. Yeah. 
right. So is there certain places you gotta go at certain times on that clock? Yeah. I thought about the Castlevania 3 clock level. I mean, it was cool design, but... Oh, that's that's still in here, but that's a different part of the castle. It's still bullshit. So today, um... He was... There was people giving him shit. Uh, because he posted a pic of his wife, Coco. Who Coco had... T. Um... Braided her hair. Yeah. Uh, and there were some people attacking him, basically saying, you know, this is his wife's white, that she can't braid her hair that way. Um, and him telling you exactly how few fucks him and Coco give about your bullshit. But in one of the tweets, then he changed it up, and he was like, I'm gonna um, do the cannonball run. And he was posting pics of his cars and trying to decide which car he was going to do it in. Yeah. Um. Blows my mind that that is a real thing. That uh, the cannonball run is is real. Yes, because it seems like the easiest thing for cops to like shut down. You know. Like. There's, there's this whole like um. Dukes of Hazard. We made it across the county line. Thing has always been bullshit. All right. Sure. Um, and this just seems like a real easy thing they're announcing on the internet that people are posting pics now and everything of it. And the easiest thing in the world to track down. Um. Anyway, so somebody's like, you know, have, I, I don't have fucking cars. So people are tweeting back with them cars and then, um, people are still getting shit over the Coco thing, but he's not responding to any of that. And then he says, um, This is something about, oh, somebody's like, you know, you should take your Lamborghini, and he's like, playing the, uh... The exotic sport cars are shit on rallies. Um, because if you lose a screw, you're, you're over, right? Yeah. And, um, except he didn't write lose, he wrote loose. Right? Yeah. One of those classic, your, your... Yours. I'm just waiting this morning for the grammarian, the, the grammarian to come in and fucking correct Ice T on Twitter. Unfortunately, it didn't happen today. I didn't, I didn't get that. I highly recommend. Uh, he, he is final level on Twitter. Uh, you can follow him and be a member of the final level Twitter gang. And he blocks somebody about once or twice a day. And you'll, you'll get to hear about it. It'll be entertaining. You also get to hear a sexist old dude's interpretation of um, modern tech. Like, uh, one of his tweets earlier in the week was, um, dude should not be having Snapchat accounts. Which is wonderfully sexist and old guy at the same time. Yeah, it's it's both. That's nice, Steve, for managing to be both old and sexist. But, I mean, NWA was never known for its progressive viewpoints. No, it women. was not. I, you know, um... I mean, my view would be, like, nobody use a goddamn Snapchat account. Why, why does anybody need a Snapchat account? The fuck's the point of that? I'm just the old guy. I'm gonna post a picture that's gonna be deleted. Except not really, because it's the internet. Well, you know, it's not like somebody could screen capture. Yeah. So, I, the whole idea of a service presenting itself that way to me is dishonest, you know? Yeah. Trust me, those nude photos won't go anywhere. Wink. My only hope is that at some point, the shock of that is aged out. To where it's not even an issue for somebody if that thing happened. That's a fucking elevator. Yep. Take you. Take you down the floor. <laughs> Smack your head in the ceiling when it stops. Mm -hmm.